Today's video is a little bit of a different one. So I just randomly thought of this idea and what I did was make a form on Google Forms and then had my friend fill it out. So I, you know, put four groups of centers in there for left wing, so on and so forth, and had him pick players. Just, I guess it was essentially randomly because of what he was saying as he was filling it out. I don't think he really knew any of the players. Let me uh, real quick pick this team for Austin. Are these real people, Austin? I swear some of these names sound fake. These guys, these have to be some fake names, man. They're all real? I don't think I recognize a single one of these people. Maybe Alexander Romanov sounds familiar, but the rest? Okay, I got you. So yeah, I'm gonna have to take all the players, put them on a team from his, I suppose, I was gonna call it a draft. It's not really a draft though, it's more of just a, a form fill out. But anyway, you guys get the point. I'm gonna put that team into a franchise mode. And we're gonna see how well they do. I am once again creating a team out east in Canada because I think they should have a team. But, you know, I, that's not really my decision. Not even close. I really hope that on next gen consoles, these menus are more responsive because this is not good. These uniforms are absolutely awful and I love it. So we're gonna keep it. Mostly because we're never gonna see it anyway. So it really doesn't make a difference. So the first player we get is Nick Suzuki, which is not bad really, that's decent. And then we get Brock Nelson, which out of that group is also, you know, that's a, there's not really a bad player in that group to be fair, so. It's okay. Our third centerman is going to be Jesperi Kakanyemi. And I also just realized this, we already have two Canadians, so why not grab a former Canadian in Cody Glass? So oh, there we go, that's who he picked. Next up is Denis Gurionov, 84 overall, left wing sniper, not bad. Well, he's listed as a centerman here, so that's unfortunate, but let's see. Got two positions? Nope, just straight up a centerman. Awesome, all right, that's... Great, I'm glad I looked that up beforehand. And now we are adding Hoaglander to the team, 79 overall. This team not looking very strong here, but you know, I guess anything's possible. And we get another 79 overall in Brandon Lemieux. This is, this is rough. I don't know if I really even gave him too many choices to get, you know, superstar players, which I don't know why I did that. But anyway, this is my first time doing this. I could, yeah, find more people to fill this form out. In the future as well, probably. Well, actually, I could just ask him again and just make the players, you know, ha have at least a chance for a superstar in some of these. I know we had Jimmy Superstar on, was it this one? No, it was not. It was one of the previous ones. But anyway, that would have been nice, but it's only 81 overall still. Now, this one hoits real bad because we have Patrick Kane on there. We have Dadanov on there, but we get... Archibald. We end up getting Superman in Ilya Mikheyev, so there we go. Yeah, this team's not gonna do well, boys. I don't have faith. We got Ristolainen, so that's a good first defenseman there, at least. Orlov's also good. I'll take that. I think, honestly, in my opinion, I think he's better than an 82 overall. We get another 82 overall in Goligoski. We also get Matt Dumba. That's huge. 85 overall. So our defense are looking pretty good, but our forwards are not the best. Now, this one hurts. We could have had Ekblad or Ekholm, but instead we get Mayfield. Very unfortunate. And our last defenseman is Romanov. So there we go. Wow. Yeah, well, I don't know. Maybe we'll do all right somehow. Perhaps we can pull it out. I don't think so, but maybe we will find a way to make it work. Our starting goaltender is going to be Katahat. So there we go. And our backup is Keith Kincaid. All right. I do not think this is a playoff making team, but prove me wrong. No, we're, there's no way we're making the playoffs, but I'm also kind of curious to see how they simulate. Yeah, it's an 85 overall team. That's not a good sign. I'm kind of just going through the form and looking at some of the big misses here. So we could have had Kalorn, which would have been nice. Um, we also could have had Jimmy Superstar, Ayafalo, which would have been nice. And who else could we have had? Hurdle would have been a good pickup as well. We also could have had um, Steven Stamkos, which would have been nuts. But unfortunately, that didn't get picked either. And also, Patrick Kane didn't get picked. And then on defense, we also missed out on Pesci and Yandel. And we missed out on uh, Rasmus Dahlin, which is not good. <laughs> Uh, we got Dumba, which is a very good pick. We also could have had Truba for that one, but I'll take Dumba for sure. And then, as I was mentioning, we missed out on Ekblad and Ekholm. Uh, we missed out on Eric Carlson and 
Brady Shea. So actually, you know what? To be fair, I think I did have some decent people in here. And then in net, we the probably the best goalie here that we missed was uh, Ranta, which is unfortunate. But I'll take Carter Hart still. So honestly, I think if you know we got lucky, we could have had the chance to be a playoff team. So it's really just, you know, it's luck of the draw pretty much. Um, and yeah, this is the team we are stuck with. So let's see if we can somehow at least get 30 wins. I don't know. What do you guys think? Well, I guess I'll show you the lineups before I ask you to think about how well we're going to do, but I do not have a whole lot of faith. Okay, I mean, looking at it, we're better than the Kings and the Sharks. We have the same overall as Chicago and the Rangers. We're better than the Devils. We are better than the Senators, the Red Wings, the Sabres. It may be. Maybe we'll be all right. We would still need some kind of, you know, crazy happenstance of amazing chemistry with our forwards and, well, defense as well, honestly. But who knows, really? I guess we're going to find out in a minute here. So uh, I, I will stop sort of, <laughs> I guess, pondering on what could have been and we will just do it and see what actually happens you know what i could live with this plus three and then all plus ones what about our defense Ooh, okay let's try to find a way to oh that would have made it plus three uh all right let's see what made it plus three was it moving Ugh. our first pair would be orlov and goligoski that's not good and then if we move these guys up to the first pair they're not a plus three what the heck is all that i think plus one and plus three is good for the first two pairs i don't really need to worry so much about that uh third pair as much zero will be okay and then we got Hart and Kincaid. I'm probably going to actually check special teams. Let's see if we can try to get some decent chemistry here as well. All right, our form and power play can just have zero. That's okay. Our power play, however, there we go. I absolutely love that. Plus three and plus one. Penalty kill, we've got plus ones for both, which is good. Three-man PK, whatever. I really doubt that's going to happen very often, so I'm not too worried about that specific set of lines. But, yeah, I don't know. Our chemistry is decent. Maybe we'll be able to do all right. If I had to guess right now, I would still say we're not going to make the playoffs, but I've seen crazier things happen in this simulation engine, so I'm definitely not going to count it out either. We also somehow did very good in the preseason. What the heck? I didn't even look at that. All right, well, let's go. Let's go, Nova Scotia North Stars. What a mouthful that is. All right, it's not looking good. Nope, it is not looking good. We kind of brought it back a little bit, but still, no, it's not looking good for this team. I mean, we're on a bit of a tear right now, but I just don't know. I feel like we're going to have a collapse again. Like, that loss is going to be the start of a losing streak again. No, they bounced right back. All right, let's go. Let's go, North Stars. Yep, there it is. There it is. I knew that was going to happen eventually. Our division's actually looking pretty weak, though. So you know what? We kind of stand a chance here, potentially sneaking into the playoffs if we can keep up at this rate. Maybe try to get a few more wins together, but I mean, it's not looking impossible. Oh, two huge wins there against the Ducks and the Kings. The Leafs will take us down 3-1. Got the Sabres here and two big wins heading into the trade deadline. You'll love to see it. Let's keep our current trading block and let's enter the deadline just to see who is here. Carter Hart gaining some morale for being on the ice a lot. I mean, you are our starting goalie, so I don't know what else you'd expect, but... Regardless, we could have had that home, and now he's on the block. 86 overall, that, that Hoyts. It really does. Suter, Spurgeon, Letty, Hudobin. All right. Okay, cool. Let's keep simulating and see if we can somehow pull this off. Brent Burns heading to the Golden Knights with a third in exchange for a first, Flower, a second, and Zed Hayes. I don't know who that is. All right, we are entering the last big month here, and we're actually... Stringing together some wins. Come on, guys. Keep this going. Or just get single points. At least get it to overtime if you're going to lose. You know what I'm saying? Holy crap. This is insane. The fact that we are even coming close. Don't crush my dreams. Don't go on a massive losing streak. Oh, no. It's going to come down to the wire, man. We got the Blue Jackets chasing us there. But we're actually pretty far ahead of them. They can't get a win. I think we're going to make the playoffs, boys. I really think we're going to make the playoffs, which is absolutely bonkers. I cannot believe it. We're in. We've actually clinched the playoff spot. Let's go, Adam. Let's go. Wow, I didn't think we stood a chance, but that is immaculate. We only had 41 wins, and our highest point guy was Brock Nelson with 55, and we made it in. I am just blown away right now. We got 90 points and finished third in our division, which is probably way down there in the league, to be honest. Let's see. We're definitely not top 16, I wouldn't think. Oh, 
Never mind, we are. We're 14th. We totally deserve to be here. Yeah, Detroit made it in with 86 points, so you know what? I'm, I'm not feeling as bad for sneaking our way in there anymore. So I guess Brock Nelson went up one overall, because I'm pretty sure he was 84 to start. Was Kakanyemi 82? I think he went up a bit too. Dumbo stayed the same. Hoaglander, I think he went up. I'm pretty sure he was 79. Giryanov was already 84. Same with Suzuki. Drake Batherson might have gone up a little bit there. I feel like Mikheyev went down. Wasn't he an 82 to begin with? Ristolainen, I think he was 86 to start. Uh, that's probably the same as well. All right, Archibald was 77. Orlov was 82. Okay, anyway. Yeah, let's have a look here. Just see who got the least amount of points. So we got Alexander Romanov with 8 and a dash 13. Let's go. So was it our goalies to bail us out here? Or did we just... Oh my goodness, Carter Hart. 36, 28, and 7. Four shutouts. A 9, 20... And 250 GAA. Keith Kincaid went 5-5-1 five, five, and one with a shutout. 894 and 329. So yeah, it was definitely Hart that really pulled together this team. Yeah, Hart's even up there for wins. And he was on our team. So that's saying something. He got 36 wins. I see Grubauer up there also played 40 games and put 40... Or sorry, he played... Did I say 40 games? I'm going to say he played 72 and he got 40 wins. So anyway... Yeah, and then Carter Hart played 72 and got 36, which I'm assuming, you know, that um, the Colorado Avalanche have a little bit more of a well-rounded roster than us. I mean, it's not like they've got McKinnon, Landeskog, McCarr, Rantanen. They, no, no way. Crosby led the league with 101. Malkin's right there with 100. Matthews, 94. Patty Kane, 94 as well. We could have had Patty Kane, but you know what? We still made the playoffs, so it is what it is. Gensel, 94. Nate Mack, 91. McDubstep with 90. Will Nye, the hockey guy, got 90. And Barkov with 89. Well, there's no way we're, this is going to happen. No shot. So we are getting first rounded by the Penguins here. That's just a gimme, I would say. But you know what? I kind of thought the same thing about the season. I suppose anything is possible, but I normally never have luck in the playoffs. Are you kidding me? Are you serious right now? Don't let them... No. All right. Yeah, I shouldn't have got my hopes up. There it is. We won the first two games and then got annihilated. We just sort of delayed the inevitable in that case. The Golden Knights with the Stanley Cup. Nice. Good for them. All right. Let's have a look here. Wow. Suzuki put up eight points in six games. What an absolute beautician. For sure. All right. Well, let's, let's go check out the awards and stuff. And yeah, I guess the playoff tree just to see how it all went down. But we saw that. Toronto with the presidents. And boom. Boom, Prince of Wales goes to the Pity Pence. Individual trophies, we got Crosby with the Art Ross and the Hart. The Norris goes to Brent Burns on the Golden Knights. Lady Bang to Matthews. Lafreniere gets the Calder. Pacioretty with the Con Smythe. Vesna to Carter Hart. Let's go. William M. Jennings with, or sorry, William M. Jennings with the Bishop is what I was about to say. Reverse that. Let's just, you know, play the Uno reverse card there. We got... Gavrikov with the Bill Masterton, Le Cavalier with the Jack Adams, Bergeron with the Selkie, Crosby with the Lindsay, and the Rocket Richard goes to Austin Matthews. All right, well, this team shocked me, honestly. I guess good picking, Adam. You ended up getting some players that I could move around and get some decent chemistry, and it sort of worked in the end. We made it to the playoffs, which is a huge accomplishment, and yeah, I... I'm just shocked, honestly. So if you guys want to see another video like this, let me know. And if I should, you know, sort of sprinkle in some more superstars in there or not, you think that was good? Because we did have, like I said, I kind of went back through it and I'm sort of second guessing myself now because that's kind of the point of the video. You know, we could get superstars or we could not. I had Patrick Kane in there. I had Stamkos in there. Eric Carlson. Uh, Eckholm was in there as well. There's a bunch of really good players that we just unfortunately didn't get. But the team, you know rallied together here and made it to the playoffs. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out Adam's channel. I'll put that in the description. He plans on starting YouTube very soon. And if you guys go check out his channel, I'm sure he would greatly appreciate that. So yeah, just thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to leave a like and I'll see you soon.